Hello and welcome to Byju's IAS presenting to you the daily quiz for 4th of July 2021. Let us begin and have a look at the first question for today. Consider the following statements with respect to Asian Elephant Specialist Group. Asian Elephant Specialist Group is a part of the Species Survival Commission of the International Union for Conservation of Nature (IUCN). It acts as the red list authority for the Asian elephant. It operates and manages elephant trade information system. Which of the given statements is or are correct? Let us first have a look at the context. This article in the Hindu newspaper today talks about the differences in social structures in the African and Asian elephants. The Asian elephants are endangered according to IUCN conservation status. Please list out the conservation status of African savanna elephants and African forest elephants in the comment section below. If you've been following the daily quiz regularly, you will know the answer. Now, why know about Asian Elephant Specialist Group? Because this is a global network of specialists concerned with the study, monitoring, management and conservation of Asian elephants. It is a group of both scientists as well as non-scientists. The primary aim of this group is long-term conservation of Asia's elephants as well as the recovery of their population whenever possible. Let us go back to the question. Statement number 1 is correct because this group is an integral part of the Species Survival Commission of the IUCN. So what does it do? It acts as the red list authority for the Asian elephants. That is, it helps in updating the red list assessment of Asian elephants, making statement number 2 also correct. It also has other functions in addition to this particular function and those are mapping the distribution of elephants in the 13 elephant range states in Asia and also help in developing Asian elephant database. But does it also operate the elephant trade information system? No. This statement is incorrect because the elephant trade information system, commonly known as ETIS, is a sites mandated tool. This was launched to track illegal trade in elephant ivory and other elephant products. ETIS is managed by traffic on behalf of the sites parties. Traffic is an NGO and a network that monitors wildlife trade. So the right answer to this question would be option A, one and two only. Moving on to question number two, consumer price index can be used for which of the following? Number one, identifying periods of inflation or deflation. Number two, inspecting price stability. Number three, tool for inflation targeting. Number four, understanding the real value of salaries, wages, and pensions. We have taken this question as there is a mention of retail inflation and the consumer price index in this article in page 11 of Delhi edition of the Hindu newspaper. Now about consumer price index. Consumer price index is a comprehensive measure that is used for estimating change in price in a basket of goods and services. This basket of goods and services is a representative of consumption expenditure in the entire economy. In simple terms, it is the list of price of basic goods and services showing how they change each month. Generally, CPI is used as a macroeconomic indicator of inflation. It is also used as a tool by RBI and government for inflation targeting and for inspecting price stability. Let us understand how while answering the question. What does consumer price index do? The consumer price index tracks the changes in retail prices of goods and services which the households purchase for their everyday consumption, right? To measure inflation, what we do is estimate how much CPI has changed or increased or decreased in terms of percentage change over the same period of the previous year or previous month. If the prices have fallen, it is known as deflation and if it has increased, it is known as inflation. Therefore, CPI helps in identifying the periods of inflation or deflation. Making one correct, coming to point number two. Price stability is the stable level of prices in the economy. That is, the value of money is sustained over a period of time. 
Price stability is when the general level of prices in the economy avoid significant fluctuations, meaning they do not rise or fall drastically in the indices of prices like the consumer price index. Therefore, point 2 is also correct. CPI is used in inspecting price stability. Now coming to point 3. CPI is known to be an inflation barometer because this indicates the present rate of inflation. This information on CPI is utilized for implementing changes to fiscal policies that is by raising or lowering the interest rates. Therefore, it also helps in inflation targeting. So option 3 is also correct. By now we know the answer is D because option 2 is present in this. However, let us discuss the last point. 4 is also correct because CPI also helps understand the real values of salaries, wages and pensions or the purchasing power of nation's currency. It basically gives an idea of the cost of standard of living. This is because retail inflation which is calculated on the basis of CPI shows how the prices have changed over time. So the right answer to this question would be option D, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Let us move on to question number 3. Which of the given statements with respect to supernova is or are correct? Massive stars towards the end of their lifetimes form supernovas. Supernova can happen in systems where two stars orbit one another and at least one of those stars is an Earth-sized white dwarf. Study of supernova can help measure distances in space. Why this question? Because this article in the Hindu talks about supernova and different ways supernovae explosion can occur. A supernova is the name given to exploding star that has reached the end of its life. Let us go back to the question. The conventional theory says that nearly all the stars which are born more than 8 times as massive as the sun explode as supernovae. Let us understand how this happens. Massive stars burn huge amount of nuclear fuel at their cores or centers. This produces tons of energy so that the center gets very hot. The heat generates pressure. And the pressure created by star's nuclear burning also keeps that star from collapsing. This star is in balance between two opposite forces. Because the star's gravity tries to squeeze the star into smallest tightest ball possible. But the nuclear fuel burning in the star's core creates strong outward pressure. When a massive star runs out of fuel, it cools off. This causes pressure to drop and gravity wins. And the star suddenly collapses. And this results in the supernova explosion. So statement 1 is correct. Coming to statement number 2. There is another type of supernova that can happen. This happens in the systems where two stars orbit one another. But at least one of those stars is an Earth-sized white dwarf. What is white dwarf? White dwarf is what is left after a star that is the size of our sun has run out of this fuel. So if one of the white dwarf collides with the other or pulls too much matter from the nearby star, the white dwarf can explode causing supernova. So statement 2 is also correct. The scientists are interested in these events. They study these supernovae to know about the universe. They use the second type of supernovae, that is the one with white dwarf, to measure distances in space, making statement 3 also correct. Therefore, the right answer to this question would be option D, 1, 2 and 3 only. Question number 4. Which of the given statements with respect to Jagannath temple in Puri is or are incorrect? Statement number 1. The temple famous for its annual Rath Yatra is dedicated to Lord Vishnu. Located in coastal Odisha, it is also called the Black Pagoda. It is one of the Char Dham. What is the context? The annual Rath Yatra at the Jagannath Temple in Puri will be held this month. And there is a mention of this in today's The Hindu Newspaper. Coming back to the question. Statement number 1 is correct. Because the temple is dedicated to a form of Lord Vishnu, that is Lord Jagannath, and is famous for its annual event, that is Rath Yatra. Statement number 2 is incorrect because this is not called the Black Pagoda, but is known as the White Pagoda. However, this part of the statement that says it is located in coastal Odisha is correct. Please note this that the Konark Sun Temple which is also close to the sea was called Black Pagoda by the European sailors. 
and Jagannath Temple is known as White Pagoda. Both these temples served as important landmarks for the sailors. So we eliminate the statement that does not have option 2. This also gives us the answer. But however, let's discuss statement 3 and then look at the answer. This temple is a part of Chardham. Chardham include Badrinath, Dwarka, Puri and Rameshwaram. Therefore, statement 3 is also correct. But the question asks us to look for the incorrect statement. Therefore, option A is the right answer. Let us take up a previous year question from 2014 prelims exam. With reference to Changpa community of India, consider the following statements. They live mainly in the state of Uttarakhand. They rear Pashmina goats that yield a fine wool. They are kept in the category of scheduled tribes. Which of the statements given above is or are correct? The Changpa community live in Jammu and Kashmir and not Uttarakhand, making statement 1 incorrect. So let us eliminate the options A and D. Statement 2 says they rear Pashmina goats that yield a fine wool. These nomadic tribes, that is Changpa tribe, rear Changra goats. And these Changra goats yield a fine wool that the Kashmiri artisans use to make Pashmina shawls. So the statement 2 is correct. Coming to statement 3. Yes, the Changpa community belongs to the category of scheduled tribes. Therefore, the answer would be B, 2 and 3 only. Now, let us take up the fact of the day. That is, Lico Scientific Collaboration. The researchers from UK Strathclyde University have detected gravitational waves produced by collision of neutron star and a black hole. And this finding establishes the existence of neutron star black hole systems. The University of Strathclyde is a part of LIGO scientific collaboration. And this leads us to the fact of today, which is LIGO scientific collaboration. What is this LIGO scientific collaboration? LSE is an international network of scientists that deal with detecting and studying gravitational waves and then use them for exploration of fundamentals of science. LSE works on development of techniques for gravitational wave detection. It is also involved in the development, commissioning and exploitation of gravitational wave detectors. It was founded in the year 1997. This brings us to the question, what is LIGO? The acronym LIGO stands for Laser Inferometer Gravitational Wave Observatory. This LIGO is a pair of huge inferometers which have two arms which are 4 kilometers long. This LIGO is a large-scale physics experiment and observatory to detect cosmic gravitational waves. So how does LIGO work? Before that, let us discuss gravitational waves. Gravitational wave is an invisible yet incredibly fast ripple in space. The major sources of G waves are mergers of black holes or neutron stars or supernova explosions, etc. Coming to the working of LIGO. LIGO, like usual telescopes, does not see the incoming of ripples in space-time. This is because G-waves are not a part of the electromagnetic spectrum. They are not light waves but a different phenomenon altogether. It is the stretching of space-time due to immense gravity. A single LIGO detector cannot confidently detect this particular disturbance on its own. At least two detectors are needed. This is because the signal from gravitational waves is so weak that even a random noise could give out a signal that it is a gravitational wave. And the scientists could be misled into thinking that it is a genuine gravitational wave that has been detected. However, this LIGO offers a new way to map out the universe using gravitational wave astronomy. So how many LIGO detectors are there in the world? The first two detectors were inaugurated in the United States at Livingston in Louisiana and Hanford in Washington. And these two LIGO detectors were later joined by European Virgo detector in Italy in the year 2017. The Japanese detector Kagra or the Kamioka gravitational wave detector became operational in February 2020. In the meantime, in collaboration with LIGO, a gravitational wave detector is being set up in India in Hingoli in Maharashtra. And this LIGO India project is expected to join the international network in the year 2025. That is all for today. Thank you for being with us. 
keep watching and keep learning